Hello everyone, Mighty Benaya here, back with the 100 match Volta game, and I have to apologize because I underestimated my abilities. Uh, I thought that a solo game was not going to be feasible at all, um, and that my entire goal was going to be um, taking out Wakanda. A lot has happened, um, and um, I have been unable to record. Um, but as you can see, I have random territories scattered all the way north. So let me give you a basic summary of what happened because it all happened at the same time. I was defending uh, this province, uh, Ain Ben Tili. Uh, Algeria, up here. Oh, I took that. Yeah. Algeria, up here, French Algeria, controlled uh, these three provinces up here and then all of this up here. Um, and they were hounding me hard trying to take um, this province out. And I had built a level 5 fort. I had multiple cars. I had uh, several, um, several troops stationed there. And he came in as hard as he can just throwing troops against the walls of my defense. In response... Once artillery came out, I took the capital of French West Africa. Um, I don't remember when my last video was, so I'm just going to go through everything. I took the capital of French West Africa and marched my, that is, doesn't matter, uh, marched my troops through um, in order to reinforce um, this province, this Doublewood province. Um, I then started to get um, more artillery pieces and more artillery pieces. He came in, um, Algeria came in with artillery of his own. And I beat him in an artillery battle, a 1v1 artillery battle. Eventually, he overwhelmed my forces, but at significant cost. Let's actually look at the newspaper and look at my enemies. So, to date, uh, French Algeria has suffered three times the casualties that I have. Uh, I've suffered 56,000. He's suffered 168,000. And multiple of those have been artillery. Eventually, I lost this province. Um, it, he wore me down. I had no fort. He eventually... Um, his, uh, his offense was more than my defenses could bear. Um, and he succeeded in... Um, destroying everything that I had worked for. However, I still had this province, and I was pushing forward. At the same time he was taking this, I was declared war on by his ally, Italian Libya, who came in on my capital with uh, stacks, uh, 40 troops, stacks of troops. They sent spies to demolish my fort, and they consistently um, hounded my troops uh, as they defended the walls of my capital. So while Algeria is coming from the north, his ally is coming from the east. I'm hemmed in. My ally is not responding. Um, he had uh, some, some personal things that he was uh, working on, and uh, I was unable to, to contact him. I'm on my own. But the walls are holding, my troops are holding, and I'm beating their artillery. Um, there was an artillery that came in from Libya, and in an artillery battle, I was able to beat them. There was artillery coming from the north. Um, at first, it was a 1v1. Then he sent another one in when I had uh, obtained three artillery, um, sacrificing his artillery um, multiple times. Finally, I broke through enough to send this hero car that was once at 100% health, but I forced marched him everywhere taking province after province. I took uh, th this province. I took this province. I took these provinces. Um, this one actually belonged to Italian Libya. I took this province. I took this province. I took this province. In several of these provinces... Oh, I took this one as well. In several of these provinces, two of them specifically, I generated infantry. These infantry I've used to help defend and take more provinces. And... I gained another artillery piece from the capture of Algiers. Algiers, being his capital, plummeting his morale. I think I have broken the morale of the player. And now, 
all that stands in my way is Italian Libya. Italian Libya, I am moving an artillery piece towards their capital to eliminate. And I am doing cleanup on this AI, French West Africa, um, to make sure that I can move my troops through and secure all of North Africa. My ally, finally, after I had broken my enemy, finally came online and said, oh yeah, I'll help. So, I am going to continue to work with this individual. Um, however, I am going to take every bit of the territory that I can get my hands on. Um, because while he um, sat back and turtled, which is absolutely his right to do, and it's good to have a personal life, um, my troops were being demolished on the front lines. So I am going to work to take every single bit of territory that I can. Day change is in eight minutes. So I will see where I stand on points. Um, but as of right now, I'm way behind on points. But this is before capital captures. This is before I've taken a ton of territory and broken the spirit of Algeria. I am pretty confident that with the exception of several islands, I will have uh, eliminated Algeria as an opponent before he goes AI. Um, so we will see how that transpires, um, but that is, that is the heroic journey that I have gone on the past several days, and some of it was a little harrowing. Um, looking around what's happening, my big competitors at this point are Germany, uh, the real, the real czar, the real Zazar, and his coalition. Um, I asked him for help, and he did not help me. I'm not sure how I'm going to respond, um, but I'm, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to respond to that. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, South uh, I'm sorry, Northern Rhodesia, who's conquered all of South Africa, is a major player, and so I will have to watch out for him. Um, Vlad uh, Vladimir Lenin is a decent-sized player. Um, Drover is a decent-sized, uh, has a decent-sized nation. But most of these, um, New Zealand, British New Zealand, has a decent, a decent start. Um, the Frozen North is, honestly the biggest player in the game, followed closely by my other ally, um, who I have shared map with, um, in South America. So, uh, I'm not focusing on doing a coalition game, but were I to join a coalition, what I would want to accomplish is taking the majority of North Africa and um, potentially going to war with South Africa then allying with my North American uh, allies already, joining coalitions together, um, because they already have North and South America, and I have Africa, and that puts us in a pretty decent spot to win the game. So, um, again, a lot has happened. Real briefly, and I will try to make another video about this, but I wanna show you how to win an artillery battle. Um, if you look here, I have 52 seconds before I make an attack. You want to, the first thing that you want to do in an artillery battle is send infantry in to tank a shot. Um, once this timer is up, the artillery will shoot. It's going to shoot at this infantry. It'll either hit or it'll miss. It'll do damage. And then that infantry, um, oh, then that artillery piece won't be able to fire again. In order to have it fire again, it has to wait a full hour. So what you do is you wait until the enemy artillery has fired. Um, if they are in a, um, in a stance where they are going to fire automatically, if they're sitting still, or if they are um, in offensive, um, then all you have to do is walk your troops right into their line of fire with the artillery standing behind them. When your artillery is standing behind them, you wait until their, their artillery is fired, then you move up. It is really important to be on your own territory with artillery because your own, your own territory allows your artillery 
to move at the speed of infantry, enemy infantry on your territory, a little bit faster. So you can kite. So you move uh, once, you, once it's fired. So this is fired and it did one damage. Once it's fired, make sure you are on fire at will, assuming you have a premium account. If you don't, it'll automatically be on fire at will and move it back. Move it back 25 minutes. By the time they are able to fire, you will be out of range of fire. And then once they have fired, or uh, time it so that you have an exact hour between firing cycles, move back so that you can fire on them again. As you do this, you will um, eventually eliminate all of their artillery. This is what I used to kill um, the, the enemy artillery, what I used to win 1v1s. This is a reason that flowering, and I will need to test this, flowering may still be uh, viable in the new update. This is an old update, update game, but if you have enough artillery, having them with different firing timers will be a defense against this type of play. And so they will have to have infantry stacked with their artillery to have a better chance of having their artillery survive. Um, so if you have um, four artillery, you can have them stagger their shots so they're shooting every 15 minutes. So it's really hard for an artillery to move in, take a shot, and move out. Um, I don't know that that is, that will, that will require some testing. That is where I'm sitting right now. Um, but it is imperative that you use your own territory to move your artillery uh, back and forth if you're going to use this strategy, but it is incredibly effective. That is all that I have for now. If you have any questions, um, submit them in the comments. I want coalition members in future games to be knowledgeable about things about how to battle artillery. I want players that I play with to be better because that makes me better. And so in order to accomplish that, I'm creating videos to help people learn. Um, the way that you can help people learn is both by teaching people and by doing all of the stupid YouTube things um, by like, comment, subscribing, because that allows the videos to get out to more people. And that means that those people are going to learn to be better at the game. So do all the things, Soli Dio Gloria, and I'll see you next time.